Hello and welcome to Microsoft Word 2010 Core Exam Study Materials Lesson 1. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. In this short tutorial we'll be covering the steps involved in viewing our document in different views or applying different views to our document. So if we take a look at our document here uh, I am in a particular view right now. That view is called print layout view. There's a couple of different ways to look to see what view I'm in. At the bottom of my screen in my uh, status bar I have my view options here. If I cursor over any one of these it'll give me the name. It tells me I'm in print layout view. I can tell by the little uh, yellow highlight in the background of this button. If I cursor to the right I'll see that I have full screen reading view, web layout view, outline view and draft view. Another way to verify what view I'm in is if I come to my ribbon and I click on view, the view tab, on the left hand side of my ribbon I have my documents view group. And again they're replicated as they are in my status bar up here. Full screen reading, web layout, outline, and draft. If I click on my full screen reading it'll change my view to the full screen reading view. Now what happens is that it removes my ribbon bar up here, excuse me, my ribbon, and eliminates any unnecessary tool. Uh, and this is for reading only. If I click inside this document, you'll notice that my insertion point appears but then disappears when I let go of my, um, my button. I can change that if I want to be reading or reviewing something that I had someone else doing and I want to make uh, edits in here or type something within this document, I can change that using my view options. Here in the right hand corner, if I click this drop down for view options, I have several different options to choose from. Right now it says allow typing. Um, it's off. The way I can tell that it's off is because it has no uh, highlight selection ar around it. If I look here, the show to pages has a little highlight around it. That means that it's now active. So if I want to activate this, I can click this and that goes away. And now I can come in here and click inside this document and type something. Okay. Otherwise, I can leave it off and, uh, and, and go from there. This is your full screen reading view. To get out of this, we'll come up and just click the close button. Now we're back to our print layout view. And again, by default, our document should be in print layout view. Um, and for that matter, it'll go back to print layout view when we close out another view. The next one is we have a web layout view. If I click web layout, it's going to display to me this document the way it may appear on a web page. Um, because this is wider than, than that average page, it's going to just have no text wrapping and the document lines are going to go all the way out. If I look at my ruler here, I can see that I'm extended out to about 15 inches. Well, we all know that a web page, as we view it, will condense it down to about 7 inches. So we will have text wrapping and stuff. This is your web layout view. The next view is called our outline view. If we click on that, this outline view, most of our options for editing and stuff will disappear. Um, the outline view will place our text or our the elements of our document within bullets, which makes it easy for us to do uh, uh, demote or promote levels within our document. If I want to promote this level, I'll come up, put my insertion point in that area, and I can click to promote that area. Everything subsequent after that will also be promoted. So I'm going to undo this because that's not something I want to do. But this is just another view. The next view that we can choose from is our draft view. If I click on my draft view, the draft view will take away any of the uh, distracting um, background colors, borders, headers, and footers, and it makes it easy for me to peruse through this document looking at the text itself. Um, this is yet another view that, that you can uh, use. 
So if we come back and click on Print Layout View, and for that matter, that's the view that we can best um, create our documents, those of us who are um, trying to create professional looking documents. And again, the Print Layout View is the one which gives us the edges of our page and shows the way in which it might print once it's uh, sent to the printer. That covers our different views for our document. Thanks for joining me and I hope this was helpful.